And, Bob, if you'd be so kind, tell us about this music you're about to play for us. Okay, this is Jazzy Jugs, Kazoos, and Washboards. It's a style of American jazz that has been far too long overlooked. Because musical is a jug, though a bottle or even a length of pipe will serve as well. By half spitting, half vocalizing into it, a player can produce a fruity, resonant sound, not dissimilar to that of a tuba or a string bass. Larger glass vessels and earthenware demijohns does produce a full boom. The player may alter the sound by blowing into the jug at different angles. Singers who like to vocalize through a kazoo, a submarine-like look-alike toy that imparts a buzzing sound to the vocal sound, similar to that of a comb and paper. The one who wanted to give it more volume might add an oil funnel, which gives it direction and carries it further. Another related domestic item, the corrugated washboard, or rubbing board, gave rise to the noted rubbing songs of the washerwomen. Its surface gives a staccato beat when a fork or similar implement is drawn across the washboards, and its potential as a rhythm instrument was not missed. The players often wore metal thimbles on his fingers to obtain a crisp, rattling sound, more satisfying to the blues ear than the drums were. Cowbells, wood blocks, pans, wire brushes, wooden rods, and other embellishments were added to create excitement and tone color for the rhythmic beat of the music. So here they are, 15 obscure performances from 1928 to 1934. Performance number one is Farewell Blues, August the 17th, 1934, New York personnel, the Georgia Washboard Stompers. Chick Webb is a celebrated trumpeteer. Taft Jordan is the star of this session, surrounded by saxophonist Dave Page, Ben Smith, and Carl Wade. Clarence Prophet is at the piano. Steve Washington is doubling banjo and guitar. Ghost Howell is on the bass. And Jake Fenderson is washboard. Makes this performance really swing. You listen for good breaks by all the personnel in the band and good, good rhythm by Fenderson on the washboard. Okay, now we go on to performance number two, which is tight like that. This is November the 9th, 1928, with Chicago personnel, with Tampa Red's Hokum Jug Band. There's a great group of Chicago musicians featuring kazoo, guitar, and jug by Hudson Whitaker. Tampa Red's guitar, Thomas A. Dorsey is on the piano and the washboard. Frankie Halfpipe Jackson, vocals interact to make this a great session. Listen for some very good kazoo and jugs, and notice how Halfpipe Jackson laughs like scat singing. Very unusual. Okay, now we go on to performance number three, Barrel House Stomp which was done on March 13, 1931, again with Chicago people, the State Street Ramblers. Alfred Bell is singing and strumming washboard as well as playing the kazoo. Roy Palmer is on trombone. Daryl Howard of New Orleans is on clarinet. Jimmy Blythe, the great Jimmy Blythe, is on piano. And Ed Hudson on banjo. The talking is by Alfred Bell. You listen for Howard clarinets featured. Kazoo takes the place of the trumpet throughout, so if you think you hear a trumpet, you're not hearing a trumpet, you're hearing a kazoo. Very good washboard and kazoo. Notice how the trombone takes the place of the jug and string bass when the kazoo takes the lead. Okay, the next one is 40 and tight. This, this was recorded on July 24, 1929 by Chicago personnel, the Beale Street Washboard Band. The legendary Johnny Dodds is on clarinet. Herb Moran is on cornet. Frank Melrose is on piano, and Warren Baby Dodds is on washboard. Now, this is unusual because you normally hear him on drums. The teaming of the Dodds brothers when they were at their best. You listen for Baby Dodds, who's not often on the washboard, and very good interplay between the personnel, and each individual instrument of the group can be heard at any time, even if they're all playing at once. I feel this is very unselfish, and if they weren't so good, they, no one would ever not even try to overplay the other. The Dodds Brothers. Hot stuff, no? I'd like to remind you, you're listening to the 1990 Jazz Marathon. We're on the air to entertain you and also to elicit your support for community radio here in Charlottesville, Virginia. All of this music is, of course, a type that you'd never hear anywhere else. Uh, probably you've never heard anything like this in your lives. But you have to admit, this is really hot jazz. We have a lot more ahead of us. Um, Bob's got a whole bunch of tunes lined up. We'd like to hear the phones ring down here. It's sort of like the calm before the storm. The game isn't over yet, and there aren't too many people active and alive, but we know you're out there. So before everything gets hot, give us a call down here, 924-3418, 924-3959, and support WTJU. 
So I'll turn the mic back over to Bob. This is performance number five coming up, A Sweet Lizzie. It was done on October 27th, 1930, by Chicago personnel again, and it was called James Cole's Washboard Band. A sizzling fiddle, of all things, by James Cole, and he's backed up by Eddie Demick's mandolin. Washboard and kazoo, Tony Bradley on guitar, you listen for the sizzling fiddle by James Cole, and good rhythm by Bradley on guitar, and the kazoos and the washboards, <laughs> they just can't be undercut because they're great. Can, can you imagine a, a just that was all done with a, with a violin, a mandolin, a kazoo, and a washboard? It, it's just amazing. The next performance is known as Crazy Blues. It was done on October the 3rd, 1934, in New York by the Alabama Jug Band. Now, <laughs> this, this name and the people don't seem to go together, but... Uh, at any rate, it's, it spots the eccentric cigar-chewing Willie the Lion Smith on piano and includes Ed Allen's cornet, Cecil Scott's clarinet, Ike Robinson on banjo, Cyrus St. Clair on bass, Clarence Todd on kazoo, Floyd Casey on washboard, and Clarence Williams blowing zany, highly emotional notes into his jug. It also has a ham and cabbage trio composed of Williams, Robinson, and Todd. Listen for some great jug by Williams and very interesting washboard by Floyd Casey, which sounds almost like brushes on a snare drum. And that jug by Williams just, just carries me away, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> the next performance is Tiger Rag. It was done on October 17, 1934, again by New York personnel. And they were called the Georgia Washboard Stompers. This is Chick Webb's celebrated trumpeter, Taft Jordan, is the star of this session. He's surrounded by saxophonist Dave Page, Ben Smith, and Carl Wade. Clarence Prophet is at the piano. Steve Washington is doubling banjo and guitar. Ghost Howell is on bass. And Jake Fenderson is on washboard, making this performance really swing. Listen for tremendous washboards, pots, and pans by Jake Fenderson. Great string bass by Ghost Howell. And notice the exciting syncopation and hesitation of Taft Jordan on trumpet. Before we get on with the music, I'd like to tell you that you're listening to the Jazz Marathon, and we're doing this programming for the purpose of eliciting support from the public for continued jazz programming in Charlottesville. And we'd like to hear the phones ring down here. It's been very, very quiet. I know there's a lot going on, but I also know that there's a lot of people who haven't yet made a pledge to help us out with our operations for the next year. And... If you listen to WTJU regularly, and a lot of people do, it's time now to get out your checkbook and be a little generous with the music that we like and enjoy so much. Okay, I'm going to turn the mic back over to Bob for more kazoos and washboards and jugs. Okay, this next performance is Shake Your Shimmy. It was done on October the 9th, 1928, by Chicago personnel, a group called the Midnight Rounders. Now, this, this group was well known by several other names, too, but it was basically headed up by Jimmy Blythe on piano, William Lyle on bass, Jimmy Bertrand on washboards and woodblocks, and Frankie Jackson on vocal. Listen for great washboard and woodblocks by Jimmy Bertrand and good performances from Blythe and Lyle. You just listen to each player, and you just see, boy, they're really having a lot of fun. Okay, now we'll go back to New York personnel on this cut, and they're playing a song called Jazz It Blues, which was done October the 3rd, 1934, again by the Alabama Jug Band. And we have the eccentric cigar-chewing Willie the Lion Smith on piano, Ed Allen's cornet, Cecil Scott's clarinet, Ike Robinson on banjo, Cyrus St. Clair on bass, Clarence Todd is on kazoo this time. Floyd Casey is on washboard. And Clarence Todd doubles by blowing the zany, highly emotional notes into his jug. We again have the ham and cabbage vocal trio of Williamson, Robinson, and Todd. On this one, you should listen for an outstanding recording and listen to the notes of the various pitches that come from the jugs as William is blowing into it. I understand you can change the pitch by the angle at which you blow into the jug and, and the uh, intensity at which you blow it. Uh, everybody takes a solo on this one, and there's great interaction between the players. The trio does scat singing, 
And I myself, in, in 60 years, have never heard a growl clarinet before, but Cecil Scott does it on this one, and it's just amazing. Well, that, that was just a, just a foot-tapping, uh, knee-slapping performance there, I, I tell you. <laughs> That's just about as good a jazz as you could find anywhere. The next performance is done by Chicago people. It's called Pleasure Mad. It was done on April 23rd, 1928, by the Blythe Blue Boys. Now, this again is Jimmy Blythe on piano, Natty Dominique on cornet, and they have unknown alto sax, W.E. Burton's on the washboards, and vocal comments. And on this one, you can listen for a great Jimmy Blythe piano break and all the fun that these boys have. They, they sure are having fun. <laughs> it's just infectious. The next performance is Wild Man Stomp, which was done March the 30th, 1931, by Chicago personnel. And it's the State Street Ramblers again. This again has Jimmy Blythe on the piano, Ed Hudson on banjo, Alfred Bell on kazoo and washboard. Now you listen for a great kazoo solo by Alfred Bell and the vocal comments by Bell and what jazz can be made with just a piano, a kazoo, a banjo, and a washboard. Wow, what fun they all having. This next one is again by New York personnel, the Alabama Jug Band, who we've heard before. Uh, the name of the song is My Gal Sal. It was recorded on September the 5th, 1934. Again, we have the cigar chewing Willie the Lion Smith on piano, including Ed Allen's cornet, Cecil Scott on clarinet, Ike Robinson on banjo, Richard Fulbright on bass, Floyd Casey on the washboard, Clarence Todd's on the kazoo, and Clarence Williams is blowing his zany, highly emotional notes into the jug again. And listen for the vocal by Hambone Jackson. This is a good cornet and a good group. And Williams on the jug and Todd's on the kazoo and Casey on the washboard is just hard to beat. The next song will be the Gulf Coast Blues, which is done, which was recorded on September the 5th, 1934, by the same group, the Alabama Jug Band, that you just heard. Except the, one of the differences is the writer of this song is also the one who's going to be blowing the jug, which is Clarence Williams. Okay, I'd like to remind you, you're listening to WTJU 91.3 FM in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's almost 6 o'clock. We're doing jugs, kazoos, and other unusual instruments in jazz. And we have about, oh, about 20 more minutes left of this programming, and then we're going to move on to some boogie-woogie jazz. So I'll let Bob Chandler here continue with this great music. The number's here again, if you choose to make a pledge of support to WTJU or 924-3959 and 924-3418. At this point, we're about $1,800 shy of our goal, and we have about one more day of the jazz marathon left, so it's time to keep, uh, to stop putting it off and get out your checkbook and support your community radio. Okay, Bob, lay a little more of this on us. Okay, the next, the next song we'll hear is by the Alabama Jug Band again. It's the same New York personnel. It was recorded at the same time, and it's I Wish I Could Shimmy Like My Sister Kate. Okay, we'll come now to the last performance of our jugs, kazoos, and washboards, which is done by New York personnel on October the 3rd, 1934. Again, it's the Alabama Jug Band, uh, which was... The Cigar Chewing Willie the Lion Smith, Ed Allen's Cornet, Cecil Scott's Clarinet, Ike Robinson on Banjo, Cyrus St. Clair on Tuba, Floyd Casey on Washboard, Clarence Todd on Kazoo, and Clarence Williams blowing his zany notes into the jug. The vocals by Hambone Jackson. You listen for a great cornet break toward the end of this piece, followed by Willie the Lion Smith on piano doing his thing. The name of this song is Somebody Stole My Gal. <laughs> <laughs> 